As we move ahead, because Russia is setting its sights on the moon, planning a nuclear power plant to support its lunar program and a joint Russian-Chinese research station. Roscosmos, a Russia state space agency, says that the lunar plant is targeted for 2036 and will provide power for rovers, observatories, and the International Lunar Research Station. While not explicitly confirmed, the involvement of Rosatom and the Kurchatov Institute points to a nuclear reactor. The head of Roscosmos has added that this project represents a shift from one-time missions to long-term lunar exploration. Now, Russia is not alone. NASA has also announced plans to place a nuclear reactor on the moon by 2030, which points out the need for sustainable energy to support human activity and future Mars missions. Meanwhile, experts caution that this development could trigger a new lunar gold rush as the moon is said to host significant reserves of helium-3 and rare earth metals which are essential for building advanced technologies on Earth. And I now request Dan to join me back and weigh in his opinion on this. Um, Dan, how do you see the f announcement coming in from uh, Russia? Well, largely it's an effort by Russia to show that they still matter uh, in, in this regard. Uh, the economics of helium-3 and rare earth mineral extraction from, from uh, the moon are, are yet to be proven, but there is a lot of cachet in, uh, in, in these space programs. And uh, of course, decades ago, the Soviet Union uh, was at one point in the lead uh, as, as regards uh, uh, the space program in Russia in an attempt to uh, once again reestablish itself, suffered a, a quite humiliating setback a few years ago when its effort to land on the moon crashed. Uh, and, and they're trying to reestablish that. Uh, it may be that they're also attempting to gain first mover advantage uh, on the south pole of the moon, which uh, is uh, seen as the most attractive part because it has more, more sunlight. Uh, it, it is an effort to uh, lock itself in to the Chinese Russian uh, lunar effort, which uh, which would amount to hitching their wagon to a country that is more likely to be successful in the future because China is basically growing and Russia is in a state of great stagnation. It also basically uh, uh, amounts to a distraction from Russia's uh, calamitous war in Ukraine uh, that has badly tarnished the brand of Russia. Uh, Russia is seen as basically a criminal enterprise by much of the planet, and and this is an attempt to, to sort of remind people that Russia also has uh, great potential in science and ambitions in, in the economy and, and wants to be remembered and seen as something uh, more than just a country that is committing war crimes in Ukraine. Hmm. All right. For now, thank you very much, Dan, for speaking to us here at New World.